All right, guys, let's talk about supplementing with NAC to help increase your testosterone levels. Does that make sense for you? Now, NAC is N-acetylcysteine. Basically, it's an amino acid, and it's a most important function in your body is actually it's an antioxidant because what it does is it helps your body produce glutathione. Now, NAC can act as an antioxidant on its own, but its most powerful thing is helping you produce glutathione. Glutathione is your master antioxidant, so it's very important for your body. NEC is a helpful supplement. Its most helpful role, though, is decreasing oxidation in your body. Now, since that's brought up, can it potentially help increase testosterone levels? And the reason being is because your lytic cells in the testes is what produces testosterone in men. And if there's oxidation in those cells, the theory is that it can help increase testosterone. Okay. So what do the studies show? Here's what we know. There have been a couple of studies that have given 600 milligrams of NEC. They've done that daily and they've done it for 30 days. And the results that they saw were promising. Now I put promising kind of in air quotes there. Here's what we found. There was an increase in testosterone of roughly 50 nanograms per deciliter. I'll talk about that more in a second. The other thing they saw, they decrease luteinizing hormone, decrease in prolactin. Now, overall, if you take these two things together, that's a very positive thing for hormones in men. Okay? So overall, that's a positive thing. But am I excited about NEC as a testosterone booster? Not really. And here's why. Here's my general thoughts on NEC. Okay. First of all, 50 nanograms per deciliter is a nice increase, but it heals in comparison. I've seen men who have gone through diet and true lifestyle changes, as well as some other things that I talk about on my free checklist. So make sure to go to my website and grab that. But they'll see increases of, you know, the low hundreds up to 500 plus grams per deciliter. So I've seen much bigger increases in testosterone levels for men who do the diet and lifestyle. Does that mean NEC can't be helpful? No, I've already laid out. It can cause a slight uptick in testosterone and that's nice, but too many men focus on the major in the minor. Okay. They're focused on supplements. You are not going to supplement your way out of a diet and lifestyle issue. And that's what low testosterone is. So the bottom line is, can NEC increase testosterone levels? If it can a little bit, it also appears to make you more sensitive to the effects of testosterone by decreasing luteinizing hormone. Those are positive things, but they pale in comparison to diet and lifestyle issues. So my advice to men is if you're suffering with low testosterone symptom, focus on your big ticket items, supplementing with something like NEC may help a bit, but it's not going to fix your issue. Okay. So that's kind of my two cents. Let me know in the comments, other topics that would be helpful for me to cover any questions that you have on this video, and also make sure go grab your free checklist and I'll see you in the next video guys.